Hello and welcome to this short video in the series looking at the science of protection. In this film we are going to look at the science behind the fabrics used to make chemical protective coveralls. The primary purpose of a protective coverall is to protect the wearer's body. However, 3M recognised that different jobs require different levels of protection. This is why the range of 3M protective apparel is diverse and designed to provide options for your application and purpose. If the only consideration for designing and selecting protective apparel was protection, then coveralls would be made with the most protective fabric possible, most likely heavy and non-breathable, like a suit of armour. However, different applications require other considerations as well as protection, such as the environment in which it is used, the task and the wearer. This results in the need for different designs and different fabrics. The 3M range of protective coveralls are designed and manufactured to help address these needs. Let's begin by looking at the different types of fabric. Many type 5-6 or level C coveralls which are designed to help protect against hazardous dust and light liquid splashes are manufactured from fabric made from non-woven polypropylene fibres. These fi fabrics are often known by the acronym SMS for spun bond, melt blown, spun bond. The term non-woven simply means that the polypropylene fibres are neither woven nor knitted. Instead, they are laid in layers that are either spun bond or melt blown. The spun bond layers are the outer layers and normally give the fabric its physical strength. In the spun bonding process, chips or pellets of polypropylene are melted inside an extruder. This melt is fed into a spin beam to make continuous filaments which are then cooled by a stream of air. As they cool, they are laid down onto a wire mesh conveyor belt to form a random, non-woven layer of fabric. The melt-blown layers on the inside of the sandwich are intricate webs of microfibers that filter out many water-based chemicals and dry particulates to give the fabric its protective properties. Although the fabrics are often collectively known as SMS, they may have more than one layer of melt-blown on the inside, or even more than one layer of spun bond on the outer side. Double S, double MS fabric has two layers of spun bond on the outside, two layers of melt blown on the inside, and then a further layer of spun bond. SMS fabrics used in the 3M protective coverall range vary in weight from 43 grams per square meter, GSM, to 54 GSM. SMS fabrics are very breathable and can be treated by special processes to give them additional protective properties, such as a greater level of chemical protection a limited degree of flame spread resistance, or to help reduce the build-up of static electricity. Bonding SMS fabrics can be achieved in several ways, but a typical method for chemical protective fabric is thermobonding. In this process, the layers of fabric are fed through two rollers. One roller has a smooth surface, and the other has small pins mounted on it. This creates an embossed finish on the other side of the fabric. These pins only penetrate about 20% of the way through the fabric and help the layers to bond. The heat and speed of the rollers, together with the pressure on the fabric as it goes through the rollers and the tension of the fabric as it is rolled up, are all carefully controlled to produce the optimal fabric. Laminated fabrics are made with a substrate layer of non-woven fabric which has a film of polyethylene on the top or outer surface. This polyethylene film is laminated to the substrate layer using a thin layer of adhesive. Within the range of 3M protective coveralls, two types of substrates are used. A substrate made from a polypropylene non-woven to which a layer of polyethylene film is added. This type of fabric is used in the 3M protective coverall 4510 and the 3M protective coverall 4570. The second type of laminated fabric uses a substrate made from what is known as a bicomponent layer to which polyethylene film is laminated. This substrate, often called bicofabric, is made from special fibres which have a polyester core and a polyethylene sheath. This fabric is used in the 3M protective coverall 4540+, the 3M protective coverall 4545 and the 3M protective coverall 4565. The advantage of a laminated fabric is that the level of chemical protection is generally higher than an SMS fabric. The advantage of a bico laminate compared to a standard laminate fabric is that it tends to be lighter, feel softer and have a better drape. The weight of a laminated fabric in the 3M protective coverall range varies from around 47 GSM 
up to 92 GSM. This variation is due to differences in the weights of both the substrate layer and the polyethylene film. Generally, the heavier the fabric, particularly of the polyethylene film, the higher will be the level of chemical protection. Fabric treatments could be added to the fabric to give it enhanced properties. These may include a flame spread resistant treatment or a treatment to make the fabric more resistant to the buildup of static. These treatments are usually applied by a kiss roller. This is a process where a roller dips into a bath of treatment which is then transferred to the fabric as it moves over the roller. Breathability of fabrics is very important as heat stress can be a serious problem when wearing protective clothing. 3M has looked at how the risk of heat stress can be reduced, thereby improving user comfort. SMS fabrics are generally much more breathable than laminate fabrics, but the breathability of laminates can also vary. This is caused by changes in the size of the micropores of the polyethylene film. The larger the micropores, the more breathable will be the fabric, although this may also mean that such a fabric may be less protective than a laminate with very small micropores. 3M uses this understanding of breathability to design coveralls which aim to provide the right level of protection with high user comfort. Instead of using just one fabric, 3M has different fabrics for different levels of protection. For example, the 3M Protective Coverall 4545 is a Type 6 and Type 5 coverall for protection against light splashes and particulates and is made using a fabric which is more breathable than the 3M Protective Coverall 4565 which is a Type 4 coverall for protection against sprays. This coverall is made from a fabric which is lighter than the 3M Protective Coverall 4570, which meets the requirements of Type 3 for protection against jet sprays. Another option when full laminates are not required is to use a combination design of splash-resistant laminate and breathable SMS fabrics. A dual material design works to help reduce heat stress and increase comfort. For example, the 3M Protective Coverall 4535 is a coverall with a large laminate panel at the front of the body where the risk of splash may be higher, with the back made from an SMS fabric to make the coverall more comfortable to wear. To find out more about the fabrics used in our range or which 3M Protective Apparel solution best meets your needs, visit www.3m.com forward slash PPE Safety Solutions or speak with your local 3M representative.